If you're a total beginner, I'll walk you through a very basic automation setup that will teach you everything you need to know in order to create more automations in the future. Let's get started. First, if you don't already have a make.com account, click the link in the description to create a free one. So for this video, let's pretend you're a business owner and you want to get a list of customers, automatically send them emails using ChatGPT and have their information directly added to your CRM. So the first step in doing this is to create a new scenario in make.com. So in order to create a new scenario, you'll click this create a new scenario button on the top right. So once you press create new scenario, you'll be greeted with three options, build from scratch, start with template and create using AI assistant. For this case, we'll be using build from scratch. So the first thing we want to do is press the big blue button and look up webhooks, custom webhook and save it for now. The next module we want to set up is the chat GPT module. So we'll click plus open AI chat GPT and then we want to select the create a completion prompt. Right now, as you see, there's these red ones next to the modules. Don't worry about it now. It's because we haven't set them up yet. But once you're creating your scenario, if you see this red one, it means something is not right and you haven't added the information that is needed for the modules to work. Next module we're going to add is the Gmail module. So we're going to go here, look up Gmail and then look for the send an email and save it for now. And then the last module we're going to add is whatever is your preferable CRM. I will be using ClickUp. So we'll add ClickUp, create a task, and then click cancel to save it for now. And these are all the modules you really need for this scenario. So let's set up the webhook first. So let's say you're a business owner, right? And you're holding an event and you want to send a thank you package to the people who showed up to the event and you want to send them an email after they signed into the event. So you have a Google Forms in the front where people sign in, say that they attended the event and put in their email. So let's start with that. Let's create the Google form. So let's say we're creating the Google form for the people who show up to our event. We would want to get their name, their email, their phone number, and their address. Now that we have all the questions set up, we want to click responses and link to sheets. This is how we're going to get the information that comes into the Google forms onto make.com. So let's create a new sheet. We'll call it make.com responses create. And there we go. Now we have the sheet. Now in order to make it so the sheet is linked to make.com, we have to create the webhook as we saw earlier in the make.com scenario. This webhook right here needs to connect to this Google Sheet. Now, the easiest way to do that is just to ask ChatGPT how to do it. So every time someone submits a new Google form, we would want the scenario to trigger, and that's why we're creating this webhook. This right here means that the webhook is an instant trigger. So every time a form gets submitted, the scenario will run automatically. In order to set that up, we have to use the Google Apps script on Google Sheets. So in order to do that, you click Extensions, Apps Script, and then it'll open up this page. Now, you don't have to know how this works, you don't have to understand code. You just need ChatGPT, our lifesaver. In order to link the make.com scenario with the Google Slides, we would have to paste the script here. But how do we know how to do that? Well, we go to ChatGPT and tell it. Take a second to copy down what I have right here into ChatGPT. Now click send and then ChatGPT will come up with the specific code that you need. Kind of crazy. So what we want to do now is press copy and then go back to our app script on Google Sheets and just paste it right here. Now you see where it says your webhook you URL, we'll get that from make.com. Also, make sure that your project is saved by clicking save right here, save to project drive. Next thing we want to do is go over here to the side, click on triggers, press add trigger, and then this window will pop up. We want to make sure that the function to run is on form submit. This says head event source is from the spreadsheet, which is where the form submissions will go to an event type on form submit, and then click save. And now you have your trigger. Now, what we want to do in order to link it to the make scenario scenario is go back to our editor and where it says your webhook URL here, we have to replace it with our webhook URL. So we go to our make scenario, press webhook, create a webhook, save. And now there's a link right here that we can press copy the clipboard address, go back to our apps script and then replace this right here with our webhook URL. Press save. And now your Google Sheets is connected to make.com. So every time someone submits a form, this will trigger the scenario. It is connected. It is ready to go. Now, next thing we want to do is set up the chat GPT module. We open up the chat GPT module, create connection, and now we have to add an API key. In order to get an API key, you go to platform.openai.com. And then on this left search bar, you look up API, then open up project API keys. Next thing you want to click is dashboard. Once you've clicked dashboard, you will see API keys here at the bottom. Next thing we want to do is create a new secret API key. We will name this make.com and take API 
key. Create a secret key. Copy this. Now in order for this API key to work, you have to make sure that your account is funded. So in order to do that, you'll press the setting key right here. Scroll down, go to billing, add credit to the account. I just added this much for the test. Now once your account is funded and you have an API key, copy the API key, go back to your make.com scenario and paste it. Press save and your connection should be created. Now for this task, we will be using just ChatGPT 4.0 latest system. This is the system we'll be using in order to craft the message to whoever fills out the Google form. So we'll press add message, role, system role. This is telling the system what its purpose is and it will add a role, user role, and this is telling the system what to do. So in order to set up the module, you have to tell it what to actually do. So you can actually copy down my prompt, which is this. And the reason why we decide to make it HTML format is because when emails are sent out, when they're formatted in HTML, they come out on the, on the user's perspective as correctly formatted. This name input right here will be the name of each attendee for the event. So take a second to copy this system prompt and copy this user prompt and we'll press save. Now in order to set these up, we have to actually get the information from these first. So what we'll do is go to our Google form, we'll publish the Google form, anyone would link. Now in order to test the webhook, we have to press run this module only. So now it's thinking, which means it is watching out for new intakes. So what we wanna do now is fill out the form. We'll put our name down, our email, phone number, and our address. Then we'll press submit. Once we press submit, you can see that the webhook triggered and it has all the information from the form that I submitted. Now now what we want to do is replace the name that we got from here into the chat GPT module. So we'll go here, erase the name right here, and then paste the name into here. Save. Now for the Gmail module, we have to create a connection, sign in with Google, sign in with your work email in order to make the connection, and then add the recipient, email address, drag the email into here, subject, thank you for coming to our event, content, you press choices, message, content. And this will be the chat GPT output and press save. Now, our next step is to add it to our CRM in order to make sure that the person who's sending out the packages knows exactly where to send it to. So we'll create a connection, save, log in with our email. We'll create a connection for make and our CRM. So in my case, it is ClickUp and now we're connected. Workspaces, this is just a test, space, We'll do client ops just for the video, folder, leads, list, automated leads. This is just where I want it to go. You can do this in your CRM and customize it to however you want. Task name, send package to, paste the name in there, bam, content. This will be inside the task. I would like to put the name, the email, the phone number, and the mailing address of the recipient. We'll separate them by a comma to make it a little bit easier to read. Sign it to me and save. And now our scenario should be good. So we'll click save it and we'll press run once. After it's all set up, click on the Google form, submit another form and submit. And now our scenario should have been triggered. We'll go back to our scenario. We see the emails, we see the info, we see that ChatGPT has done its job. We go to choices, message, content. And this will be the email that is sent out. Open up Gmail, content. Content. see how it's pasted right here into the Gmail module automatically. And then our ClickUp output, everything is correct. So now if we go check our email, we got the email and there we go, it all worked out. And then now we open our CRM, open our CRM, client ops, leads, automated leads, to do, send a package to Omri. And there you go, that's how you create your make scenario. And there you go, you've created your first make.com scenario with AI, which saves you hundreds of hours of work if you have a big event in order to get your attendees a package in the mail. Ooh.